nowadays, in the situations that we have in the threat lifting, every every uh, trial that is done due to the uh, due to the rule is more evidence than it was before, because there is no trials and there's, there is no evidence ev evidence in spread in threat lifting at all. Uh, everything what we have in the literature is uh, like article my own experience in thread lifting and look guys what a nice uh, result I have perfect nice and but you know photo in a set matter is good to show during the congresses but it's nothing to, uh, to to teach people so this is my disclosure what we think what why we are doing but you know it's it's really wrong and pure have told before that there is no lifting at all there is repositioning and let us dis understand what we are talking about. This classification, uh, it was done by me, well, some, some elements was done really yesterday. Uh, and we can classify the threats are so-called surgical, yes. The number one, they have to be fixed to the periosteum. They are really surgical and normally they are made from the non-resorbable materials. There are lifting reposition threads so-called semi-surgical. Uh, nowadays we have just one on the market and one more is coming. It's uh, a spring thread and one more are coming. Uh, what is the difference between surgical and semi-surgical? First of all, they are fixed but not to periosteum. Uh, second, um, they are semi-elastic. And uh, both of them that are on the market are, co are coming there from permanent materials supporting threads and here we have a lot PLA is the main material it means it can be PLA, PLA with PGLA, PLA with caprolactone, pure PLA but this is the main material and we have some evidence about the that PLA cause collagen production and uh, last three years we have from PDO supporting or repositioning threads and so-called superficial threads or rejuvenational or thickening, the majority of them are from PDO. And let's analyze what we have and what are the result of the trial. First of all, does we need really evidence-based medicine? All of us remember this history with implants. And why I put it? Because it doesn't matter what company was doing after that. But the... Uh, the professional level of doctors have patient look on them after that history goes down. So superficial threads, let's start from them, material PDO, and the same situation is with uh, repositioning or uh, suspending threads from PDO. First of all, there is no evidence about the using of PDO and about that PDO can cause a collagen stimulation can cause collagen production. And why it can't cause? It can't cause because, because I'll try to not to spend too much time. And this is the evidence about PDO in cardiological surgery stands. And PDS, the same, polydioxanone material, afford good support for from five and two weeks, respectively. If one more. This is the data, the official data from pharmacopoeia. The time of resorption of material. And as you see, in 14 days, 3-0. 3-0, it's the normal UPS for the majority of PDO threads. 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, so they start to be thinner and thinner and thinner. The thickest one is 3-0. The time of resorption of 3-0, in 14 days, 75% of threat is in. In 28 days, just uh, 70%. And in 42 days, just 35% of threat are still in the tissues. Just one third in 42 days. It's one month and two weeks, even less. It's six weeks. After six weeks, practically there is no PDO threat in the tissue. So what, and six weeks, 
is the time when only the collagen production start, collagen start to appear, six, eight weeks. In eight weeks of stimulation, the quantity of collagen start to be bigger on one and a half percent, just one and a half. And in six weeks, there is probably no PDO threat. So about what rejuvenation or about what thickening of tissues or about any what effect we can talk if in six weeks there is no threats in the tissue. And if threat is not four zero, if it's five or six zero, it's not six weeks. It can be two or three weeks. Uh, this is data from US pharmacopoeia and European pharmacopoeia. The same data about the uh, threads from PLA uh, tell us about 360 days of non-resorption period. One more thing that P PDO threads, uh, well, they are not forbidden, but after 10 days, they cause inflammation in skin, in uh, epithelium, uh, so it's, for, it's, it's not recommended to use them in skin. They were designed for the totally other things. One more about the toxicology. There is no data about the toxicological safety of those quantity, and Pierre has told a few minutes ago, about 60 threads, yes. It's uh, 100 times more quantity than is safe due to the uh, clinical trials in surgery. Legal safety, first of all, no of them are registered as threats for thread lifting. They are just resist registered as sutures. And the majority of them not, are not registered at all. Uh, so that is why we start that trial, because when we analyze all this data, we start the trial on rats, and this is controlled non injected skin. Let us see what happens, uh, what changes happen due to the implantation of different thread materials and forms. This is PDO, yes. This is histology, histochemistry, and this is immunohistochemistry, day 14. Months one and months, and there is months three years. So, in general, collagen one production is mainly negative. It's impossible to change the immune histochemistry. The idea is very simple, and we saw collagen one is or isn't. So, if we, we can achieve collagen three with PDO, but when? If we will inject, implant, thread, for example, one zero, very sick thread, it will be collagen production due to the mechanical stimulation, but it will be collagen three. So we will make scars in the skin. This is the only what we can have. If we are uh, implanting that four zero, five zero, no collagen one will be, and no collagen third also will be, because they will disappear until that time when collagen can start product produced. So PLA, we know a lot, but we also know very few about uh, PLA threads. These are the major marketing, uh, m marketed materials on the market. It's up to select soft, happy lift, art only lift, but now I know that there are a lot of new ones. What I have told, and here as a result, they are much more safe and much more effective as than PDO. But what we have to understand, we were just talking with Pierre before the presentation, that there are a lot of things that we don't know. For example, we know in uh, fillers that if there is the permanent filler was injected, it's not recommended to inject HA. Uh, from practice, we know that if this permanent filler is uh, methyl metacrylate, so-called biopolymer, well, it's safe. It's for nothing, but it's safe to inject HA. If this is PLA, uh, P, uh, not PLA, uh, PAAG, uh, polyacrylamide gel, it's 
not effective and it's unsafe because there will be inflammation, there will be, the problem will occur and it's better not to touch. There are some ways how to struggle with this, but better not to inject HA. And what we saw, we saw the collagen production after month three in all the samples. And it was good collagen production. There were new collagen, collagen one fibers after month three, not after month one. But uh, as I have told, there were plain, so-called plain threads, and there were threads with cones. And in some cases, we see that in the place where there was retouching of thread with cones and silicon material, what happens? Oh. In some case, we saw the inflammation. We saw the, the appearance of macrofax, that collagen uh, fibers start to be destroyed. We saw hemosiderofax. And we saw really poor uh, situation with inflammation. And we think that this is the way of reacting of the tissues in the situation where the um, permanent material was in, uh, implanted, reaction on the non-permanent, non resorbable material. What is strange is that uh, because we have crossing of different threads from different producers, what is strange is that uh, other threads don't cause such inflammation, uh, but uh, so, uh, threads with cones, they have also not PLA just, but also polyglycolic acid. Maybe this is the reason. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just fact. And for example, using Silhouette Soft, we have to understand that our knowledge has the patient implant something before, is really very important because problems can occur. Not in all the cases, not in all the patients, but you know, one patient with problems is much more serious than 100 patients with good result. Uh, so, why? I have told. Maybe not all resorbable materials caused by maybe PLGA, maybe structure, cones, maybe some other is necessary to learn. And one more thread, it's a uh, lift in reposition, semi-surgical, semi-elastic. The way of fixation is, is the same as in uh, Silhouette Soft, that one thread has to be injected down and one thread up. And it's fixated to aponeurosis, not to periosteum, due to the structure. Why is it very interesting? We have to understand, I'm, I'm finishing, yes? I'm finishing, we have to understand that we can't have the real lifting, and we don't need that lifting. We have to find the vector where we put the thread, and we have to reposition the uh, we have to reposition the, the superficial fat. And to do this, it's very delicate. So, from I I don't like at all uh, permanent materials, but this one I like it because it uh, it gives us the possibility to reposition very light and natural way. And well, I will not show the video because uh, there is no material. And this one is really something like uh, the, 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 the bridge between permanent surgical and non-permanent resorbable therapeutical thread. But for sure, these threads and all the threads, they need highly qualified doctor with high, with high level of knowledge of anatomy, with high, high techniques. And it's impossible to learn how to inject threads without all that knowledge on the workshop is for 20 people in two hours. And one more thing, this is the data from the British Association of Plastic Aesthetic Surgeons and the same from Dutch uh, Plastic Surgeons Society about some threads. In red, I have signed not to read. And what is really important is that threads are often made from the same materials, but different threads and different forms can cause different complications. Uh, the knowledge of facial anatomy, aseptic techniques, bacteriology, and correct surgical tissue handling is very variable among doctors, so 
before starting its nursery to know all this. And that knowing technique of one thread does mean that you are a specialist that can inject everyone. And uh, now there is a lot of specialists uh, trained by Korean companies with PDO threads, and in half an hour they start to be thread lifters. Sorry, no. Uh, and and what is the most important about the, the most popular among the statisticians threads, PDO threads, as you have saw from the result of trial, they are not safe, they don't give the result, and they can't cause collagen production, at least type 1, they can't. Type 3, they can, but those threads are not. You, it's impossible to use for thread lifting of the face, thread 1, 0. It's, it's impossible from the aesthetic point of view. But not all the threads are the same, not all of them are safe due to the structure. And we are still going on, investigation is still going, now it's we start the second part. So, when we will have the result, I think we will tell you about them. Maybe it's not so interesting from the point of view of practical techniques, but uh, uh, I think it will be helpful, this lecture will, would, will be helpful for you in the future when you will start inject and you will understand what I was talking about and what problems can occur. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.